Okay, welcome back to this next episode of Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines Clan Quest Mod Edition. <sighs> we last left off, I had uh, completed the museum quest, and I actually did a few things in between this episode and the last. I fed, and then I ran back to the apartment, because we need to stop back here and do a few things. So first off, <laughs> you all know what this is about. Let's talk to Heather. Oh. You're back. I um, I went out this evening and I, well, I met someone and he wouldn't leave me alone, so I, he came back here with me and, well, I thought you might want to, you know, want to drink his blood. You're doing a dirty work for us. Um, you did what? Where is he? Um, uh, in the bathroom. I, uh, I locked, I locked him in. <laughs> there's no, there's no door in the bathroom, but he's in there. I don't know. How why he's staying, but uh let's see. I'll deal with this. You stay here. She's so silly, nobody done told her about the masquerade. Alright, let's talk to this dude. Hey, what the hell is this shit? Let me out, goddammit. I'll kill that crazy bitch. Check out how this dude's lips look all fucked up, like his whole mouth gets distorted when he talks. Uh just a little developer side note. I, this was happening with some of the new models for ClanQuest mod, and I'm really happy to say that I was able to fix it through some extensive research. Unfortunately, I don't know if it's possible to fix the old models, but it is what it is. Um, it's just a minor character anyway. Look, my sister, she's a little nuts. I'll let you go if you'll forget about this. Psycho bitch brought me here, hit me in the head, and locked me up. What the fuck? I mean, who the fuck does that? I'd always be afraid, like, you know, when I'm going on a night, one night stand, that might that might happen. You know, you meet some crazy girl. She tries to feed you to a vampire. <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, only because you tried to rape her. At least that's what she'll tell the the, blah, blah, the cops. That's kind of, uh, it's kind of sexist. Oh, so she's going to play it like that, huh? <laughs> All right. All right, just let me out. I want to get as far away from that crazy bitch as possible. Uh, there. Once again, I'm very sorry. Let's see. What's up, Heather? Master? I let him go. Never, ever do that again, Heather. I'm really, really sorry. I'll make it up to you, I promise. Goddamn right you will. Uh, let's see. Bet your ass you will if you want my blood ever again. Good, but actually, uh, I want yeah, I want to feed on her. Master, uh, she's not gonna feed me. Master, let's make her put on okay. some nice clothes. <laughs> uh, when I get back, I hope I'm in for a pleasant surprise. If you know what I mean. Email. A gambit. A gambit has been played. The king leaves himself open. Let's delete some of these. Next job. From Darn LG. Good work on that last hit. Since we're cool now, I got a second job if you're interested. Some music rep doesn't think my cousin Dre is good enough to be the next Tupac. Well, we're gonna teach him not to fuck with our gang. This bitch named Rico hangs out at that freaky confession club all the time. Make him disappear and we'll put some money in your pocket for it. Again. This has got to be a quiet job, or look like an accident or something. We still got eyes on you, so we'll know when the job's done. Okay. Okay. The next leg in that part of Clan Quest mod. You've been hired by blah blah blah. Oh, check it out. Yay, I can make people die. So actually, I think I think I'll just do that now. Get my money from Confession Bitch as well. So this begins like the long trek of the late game side quests. See, before, before, when we were playing this, we were only in Santa Monica, which means every damn side quest was just around the corner and everyone rejoiced and was happy because the content was plentiful and Burgermeister had plenty to comment upon. But now I'm going to spend 
dramatic amounts of the game just fucking running around. <laughs> Excuse me. This guy always comes back here to take a piss. Always gets his blood sucked. You think he'd learn better by now? So. Where to? Just drive. To the downtown. I don't remember if I told this story or not already, but I went to downtown LA to go to the library. Cha ching! To take pictures and stuff. And I tried parking. <laughs> in the uh, parking garage by the library. I'd passed a lot that it said $17 an hour, and I said, what a fucking rip off. And then, uh, so I got to the library, parked my car in the basement, and when I came back two hours later, it was $46. The city is ridiculous. All right, so here we are. First, let's get our confession money. Money, right? Been a while. Your money's been piling up. Here, that should provide for an interesting evening. Sweet. Thanks, keep it coming. Okay, so this is Rico. Check it out. It's actually that model from the dude in Hollywood, Larry. And, uh, proud to say, made this model. Pinstripes look medium shitty, but you know what? It worked out okay. So there's a couple ways you can do this, but if you talk to him and you fuck it up, he won't talk to you again, and then it gets a lot more difficult. I think my new discipline will just kill him. Um, I'm gonna try a different route, but you've also got this glass over here. If you talk to this dude, there's a glass sitting on the table. It appears someone left behind a shot of God knows what. Looks kind of like a Bloody Mary. Um, so you have to interact with this item to figure out what to do about this guy. I'm just gonna take this to have options. You're holding the drink. It seems thick enough that you could hide something in the contents. Open your wrist, put a bit of your blood in it. The drink is now spiked with your vampire blood. This could be useful. Leave with the drink in hand. I had been playing Dragon Age Origins at the time I made this, in case you can't tell. Yeah, I'll make it quick. I don't have time to listen to your whole bullshit life story. So, fun fact. This is my brother. He did the voice for Rico. And in listening upon it a second time here, I'm like, I should go back and clean this up in Audacity. Uh, are you Rico? I have an order for you. I didn't order any drinks. What the hell are you talking about? Let's just say the house appreciates having high rollers here. Bottoms up. Suddenly, it's a can of well, beer. Well, thanks. I'll keep this joint in mind, you know, for gigs in the future. How's that shot going down? I, uh, what is this? What is in this? I, you just seem so powerful. Uh, don't, don't go, please. I'd like to get to know you, be your friend. Is there anything I can do for you? Uh, let's see. Call your dealer. Buy as many drugs as you can. Then just take them all. Do it for me. I will. Right now. I'll do anything for you. Just know that I've done this for you. Don't forget me. Of course. I won't. She's like, peace out. Alright, so. That's done. I think you can snipe him too, like if your shooting skills are good enough. You can sit in the shadow, shadows, shoot him, and then run away before the guards see you. Pro tips. So, now that's done. We could go back to our apartment. I think fucking LaCroix is gonna cheat us out of the fucking Skyline apartment. What a dick. Because like one time I was like, eh, I guess I'll do that. Jerk. This is why he's the villain. You have to suck his toes to get the nice apartment. All right. Oh shit! You know what we're about to see is the best part of Clan Quest mod. Not this part, but in a second. Turn your toes off there. 
Oh, I need to get a guard animal of some sort to alert me when folks come in. Hmm, maybe one of them chimps like on that show 8 Detective? <laughs> oh, that, that monkey always gets his man. Just open the damn elevator. What? Oh, yeah, uh, Mr. LaCroix is expecting you. For a young guy, he, he sure likes to work late. Me, I spent most of my youth in the entertainment industry. Yeah, I guarded the sets for over six top ten TV shows. Sweet. Even though I don't care, you just keep saying things. So mean. I'm so mean to Chunk. Maybe deep down I just hate fat people. That's not true. Uh, okay, so this is an Easter egg I added to the game. Potentially the best part of Clan Quest mod. So without further ado, I present to you Sebastian Lacroix. Little boxes on the hillside. Little boxes made of ticky tacky. Little boxes on the hillside. Little boxes all the same. There's a green one, and a pink one, and a blue one, and a yellow one, and they're all made out of ticky tacky, and they all look just the same. And the people in the houses all went to the university where they were put in boxes, and, and they came, came out, out all the same. same. And there's doctors, and there's lawyers, and there's business, business executives, and they're all made out of ticky tacky, and they all look just the same. Microphone! And people all over, they're watching our television show, and they're loving because I've run out of material to <laughs> sing, but I'm singing for you, baby, because this is what Showtime wants, and I'm done now, and I thank you, and goodbye, everyone. <laughs> In the process of making this, I must have listened to that song 50 fucking times. <laughs> Anyways, the background is that actor that plays LaCroix, Andy Milder, was on a show called Weeds, and... Um, some promotional video for the show. They had him sing the theme song, and so there you go. The folly of leadership is knowing that no matter what you do, behind your back there's hundreds, certain that their own solution is the sound one, and that your decision was the byproduct of a whimsical dart toss. <laughs> I pronounce the blast sentence, and I soak the critical fallout. I make the decisions no one else will. Leadership. I wear the albatross and a bullseye. White privilege, bro. Ah, uh, let's just suck his ego. You're respected by everyone in the city for your leadership. I've had my fill of sycophants. I need adjutants I can trust. Uh, everyone respects you. Now, what's this all about? The blood hunt on Nines Rodriguez for the murder of Alistair Grout will be called. Rodriguez's execution is only a matter of time. I have lit the fuse. If you say so, bro. If a war ignites, it's my head that will sharpen the pikes for. At least I can rest easy in knowing that you, my most promising attendant, has relieved me of one encumbrance tonight. Do you need assistance bringing the sarcophagus up to my office? I didn't bring it back. It was stolen. Stolen? I... Stolen? Gary. Gary, you treasonous maggot. I should have anticipated your treachery, sewer rat. I do really appreciate the amount of time they spent animating Lacroix for this game. Uh, Gary? The Nosferatu Primogen. The Nosferatu were responsible for finding out where the sarcophagus was taken after the Dane, and for getting keys to the museum. Oh, yeah. They were the only ones who knew. Obvious to me now, my mistake. The nose. I want him found. I want him found. The sarcophagus could be exploited, causing who knows what catastrophe to this city. If it were to fall into the wrong hands, I'll find Gary and the sarcophagus. The Nosferatu lurk in the filth below the streets of Hollywood. But not even I know just where they hide. Hollywood is, unfortunately, lacking in any Camarilla loyalties. Hollywood's Baron is an Anarch named Isaac. Isaac's more civil than the Anarchs downtown, but nonetheless, he wears his mistrust of me on his sleeve. What a jerk. He may know how to contact the Nosferatu. Find Gary and get him to talk. That sarcophagus could be used against us. Do not come back until you have it. 
Now, I must announce the blood hunt and bear the brunt of all consequences. Escort him out. Have fun with that dude. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, so we're going to Hollywood. Hollywood is actually about as glamorous as it looks in this game. Meaning, you go see uh, Ming's Theater, and like two blocks down, there's some like really grody fucking 7 Eleven, you know? Um, let's see. Oh, shit, let's turn in pieces. Pieces. Little up. Pisha's quest real quick, like, over yonder. That's what I'm talking about. You're running around, you're either turning in a quest or... Running to the next one. It's a rat race. Okay. I'd, I'd like to think that's one contribution I made with Clan Quest Mod. I made the back and forth of the late game less monotonous. People are always like, they start up the mod and they're like, oh, everything's the same. I'm like, well, it's because it's the rest of the game after Santa Monica that needs some fucking help. Ay, ay, ay. The kind's fate was sealed the moment he entered. Do not waste time debating the morality. If a man walks into a tiger's domain, it may result in his being divided. Didn't she already talk so to us has. about this? I understand. About these artifacts you were talking the about. The Museum of Natural History housed one. Of that, I'm certain. I did investigate the grounds, but I've concluded it was stolen along with that sarcophagus. Well, you were wrong, bitch. I mean, you mean this thing? Yes. This is genuine and of use to me. There is something resonating from it. A whisper. I will give you this in trade. It is known as the odious chalice. It oh, swells this thing. with spilled blood and offers its bloat to its owner. Sweet. Let's see. Excuse me. Uh, looks like a wet, rotting pig's face. Uh, thanks. Another question? Yes. Uh, actually, I don't really want to ask her any questions. Forget it. It's nothing. Goodbye. So check it out. This thing is like a refilling blood bag. It's pretty cool. You kill people, it fills with blood, and then you can drink it later. So, chew on this, or stick this in your pipe and smoke it, whichever you prefer. We go and find that the sarcophagus is stolen, okay? Then we go to Lacroix and we're like, oh, it's gone, sorry bro. And then he's like, go oh, find it from Gary. What if the sarcophagus wasn't stolen? We took it, stashed it away in some storage unit, and he was none the wiser. And then we came back and we're like, oh hey, it was stolen. Right. Sorry about that. Who is this guy? Who is this Sebastian LaCroix? He should be on top of these things. No wonder he gets his ass kicked. Spoilers. All right, so here we are in Hollywood. Ain't seen you here before. And if I haven't seen you, neither is Isaac. So that's your next stop. That's your next stop. Where can I find him? Isaac's in the jewelry store at the end of the street. Consider yourself invited. And may, blah, blah, blah. and what if maybe I don't want to see Isaac? Eh, you knew. Whatever. All right, so this guy's douchebag, and uh, we're not gonna go to Isaac right now. Fuck that. He comes back and pesters you again if you don't. But whatever. I've got like just enough minutes left in this episode to show you another part of content added by Clan Quest Mod. First I'm gonna turn this off because it fucks up the ambience of this scene otherwise. So here we are in an innocent 7-Eleven. And uh, if you've played this game enough you know that there's some money back here, right? So you're like... Actually, hold up. You're like, ding! Put your hands up! Put your fucking hands up right now! Open the register. What? I said open it, fucktard. Oh god, oh god, don't hurt me. God damn, you're pretty. What are you doing, man? Just having some fun. Please, please, just... That's right, bitch. Beg for it. Look, leave her alone. Shut your fucking hole and open the register. Oh my god, we've got to do something! 
They're robbing the 7-Eleven and they're probably going to rape this woman. I better use my trusty knife and this great new discipline I have to fucking kill that guy. And then come up behind this guy and slit his fucking throat. That guy will shoot me with a shotgun. And then I'll kill him with this knife. That's the kind of person I am. Alright, so everyone survived. Happy day. Uh, let's see. So first you gotta talk to this chick. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I was so scared. I just stopped off to buy some milk for the baby. Oh my god, not the oh baby. God, I can't believe how close he came to losing me. Here, please, just take it. I insist. Don't worry about it. She gives you 200 bucks. Um, this is another one of these situations where this guy from Hollywood, Los Angeles, who's like a writer, contacted me and was like, let me help you develop some quests. It was this one and the mugging quest. And he sent me some scripts. He sent me some audio files. And it was actually really good because you know what it was? It was the motivation I needed to make to figure out how to make cutscenes because nobody else had done that before modding bloodlines and i remember coming to planet vampire posting some videos and everyone just like losing their mind for at least you know like two days but it was cool like you you heard the audio they did a pretty good job recording the only exception is he filled in some lines for this guy and he clearly told his friend like be like a stoner surfer kid from california but he didn't get specific enough because the voice is so different from the actual character. Whoa, Jesus, man, Jesus. You were like, Jesus, I've never seen anything like that. I was gonna jump in and help out, but Jesus, man, thanks. Listen, I tell you what, let's say as like a thank you, I pass on some of my skills, huh? Uh, let's see. What kind of skills? Seriously, bra. I've got mad skills at haggling down a price, yo. Next time you're trying to buy something, offer the dude selling it 50% less than what he's asking. When he tells you you're fucking crazy, turn to walk away. He'll call you back, and then you can make a more realistic offer. Before you know it, you guys will be haggling and you'll walk away with a damn good deal. <laughs> Thanks. No, thank you. Jesus, could have been the end of me tonight. <laughs> so, I'm almost out of time here, but I'm going to do a few more things. Just fuck it. This whole map is just like a treasure trove of little jokes like check it out like read this sign warning the surgeon general has determined cigarette smoking could cause cancer lung disease emphysema diarrhea jock itch vd alien invasion swamp foot and may lead to the death of cute little puppies the all of this stuff is just like um parodies of real products milky man pit pat fifth venue and it just goes uh, what fun what fun they must have had making this Poop catchers. It's not diapers, it's poop catchers. <sighs> Alright. So, every time you reach a new hub, new items get unlocked at the, um, what do you call it? Vendors. So let's talk to this guy. What's up? Oh. Uh, welcome to Red Spot, home of the monster <laughs> chug. 72 ounces of your favorite beverage for 89 cents. Blah, blah. Blah, blah. You need help or something? Say... Totally different voice, but um, same spirit, different voice. Uh, yeah, what's going on around here? Anything exciting or unusual? Always. You should come out and see my band, a bowl of cereal. We're playing tomorrow night at the crematorium. Five bucks, two drink men. We're going to ruin the place. Ruin. Interesting. Anything else I should know about? Yeah, the Vesuvius rocks. They don't let me in anymore, but damn, the girl's in there, dude. It's like midget smuggling ring in there. <laughs> uh, let's see. Great, maybe I'll go check it out. Uh, hey, you know, you should really ask me about the special, you know? <laughs> okay, I'll bite. What's the special? I'm glad you asked that, bro. Seeing as how you look trustworthy or something, 
I got this special where you buy some really expensive burrito tots or grapple juice. You get a free weapon of your choice, bro. You interested? This just makes me want burrito tots. Um, of course, show me what you got. So, we buy the next armor. We sell off some bullshit we don't need. Probably should have kept the Glock, oh well. We get this fucking new melee weapon. Uh, I saw these stupid rings that I don't need. Uh, I saw these stupid pills and this stupid thing. He doesn't want that. I can't use it, so I fucking sell this thing, and this thing, and this thing. And... Don't really need this. Or this. These are... Got the blunt weapon, got the sharp weapon. Both better. And happy times are here to stay. Okay, well, I'm way over on time, so... Again, thanks as always for watching. If you like the video, press like, subscribe, uh, follow me on Twitter. I always appreciate that. And I don't have anything funny to say this time, so I'll see you next time.